Paige and today's video is going to be a huge haul. I don't even know what I'm going to call this yet because I just have so many different things to show you guys. A majority of this is makeup, not going to lie, like probably 85% of this is makeup. I also have a couple of skincare products, some body care products, and then some random clothing from Zara, but I bought all this stuff when I was in Tampa. I went to Tampa last week for the Ariana Grande concert and then like two hours before the concert it got canceled so <laughs> that was really disappointing honestly but she was sick she apparently developed uh, an allergy to tomatoes or something i don't know it was kind of a confusing situation but yeah needless to say didn't get to go to the ariana grande concert but we did so much shopping when we were down there we left monday morning got there monday morning ish and then we were there Tuesday, and Tuesday was supposed to be the night of the concert, but instead we ended up going to the Hard Rock Casino, which was actually kind of fun. Um, and then Wednesday we did a little bit of shopping and then came like on our way home. So yeah, most of this is makeup. The, the trip was honestly like freaking amazing, even though we didn't get to go to the Ariana Grande concert. Like... It was insane. I ran into Jackie Riley Makeup. If you don't know her, her name is Jackie. She is friends with Jaclyn Hill. She's also a makeup artist. And yeah, I freaking ran into her and I took a picture and it's on my Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram if you haven't seen that yet. It was literally the coolest thing ever. Um, and then I just like happened to run into her at the mall when I was shopping <laughs> and I started freaking out so yeah it was still really cool um I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got because this is gonna be a long video I can already tell because of how much stuff I have but yeah if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy also I did want to quickly mention that I just filmed a full face of first impressions and it was the biggest fail in the entire world. It was such a fail. So I will leave a video linked down below. I had to completely take my makeup off, restart from the beginning. So I just quickly like threw this makeup on. So it's not like the best th thing I've ever done, but it's it's miles better than it was before. Does that make sense? Miles better? I don't. Mm. It's a lot better than it was before. So um, I have stuff from Morphe. I have stuff from Sephora, Victoria's Secret. I have a couple things from Blue Mercury, Neiman Marcus, and then Zara. Um, and then a couple of things that I actually got um, in packages while I was in Tampa that I wanted to talk about. So I'll start with Victoria's Secret since that's like the closest bag to me. So I have this bag right here, and I just picked up a couple of things. Um, no clothing items, but so many of you guys were DMing me, tweeting me, commenting, telling me that Victoria's Secret had some banana scented body products, and you guys know how much I love banana! So I went to Victoria's Secret and I actually picked up some of the products. So this is the Banana Twist Fragrance Lotion. Look at how cute that packaging is. Like, are you kidding me? How? Mm, I love. So I actually purchased two of those, one for me and then one for my friend Alicia because she she also loves the banana scent and these were on sale for like six dollars each I think let me check the recipient yeah so these are originally $18 but they were on sale for six so that was a really good deal so I got two of those and then I also picked up two of the body fragrances as well one for me and then one for my friend Alicia but I just thought the packaging on these was like so cute I love the yellow and blue I've been really drawn to yellow recently for some reason I think it's such a fun color just anything neon in general but this bright yellow I love as well so that's everything that I got at Victoria's Secret um, um, I'll go ahead and show you like the packages that I got since they're the next thing closest to me So I actually got a package from first aid beauty This was like PR and this is the KP bump eraser body scrub. So hmm, I was like really confused by this product, but I Cannot wait to use this. This is a chemical exfoliant for your body mind blown so it has 10% AHA in it. It says that it is safe for sensitive skin and yeah it's basically a chemical exfoliator for your body. I am obsessed with chemical exfoliators for your skin, like your face. Literally obsessed. I love chemical exfoliators. So the fact that there is one for your body just uh, makes me so happy. And it's First Aid Beauty, and I love First Aid Beauty so much. So thank you, First Aid Beauty, for sending this over to me. I will use the crap out of it. Then I got, like, a bunch of products from Ofra. So I have two primers from Ofra. I think it's the same primer, but two different shades. This is the No Butts Prime First 
primer and there are definitely two shades we have rays of light and then northern lights one is for a lighter skin tone and one is for a deeper skin tone so this is um the one for deeper skin tone i'll go ahead and unwrap the other one just to show you guys the comparison so this is what the packaging looks like i think it's really cute um the lid comes off like this and um let's squirt this and see so honestly i was expecting it to be kind of like shimmery but it's really not shimmery at all like not at all but it's pretty it feels very moisturizing and it really soaks right up into the skin which is nice so um i'm gonna swatch the darker one because i wonder if this is for darker skin tones or if like this one is shimmery i don't know <laughs> i'm kind of confused because maybe it was like a little bit tanner but i could definitely use both of these and i don't think there's any glitter in either of them but they feel really nice so this will be a fun primer to try out they also sent me um a little bundle of products over here so this is the uh signature palette it's the radiant eye signature palette and this looks like a five pan eyeshadow palette here it is right here very neutral very basic i think that this would be great for like a quick like going out the door gotta flick on some eyeshadow really quick i think this would be a really nice palette for that so that'll be really fun to try they also sent me the verified drama proof liquid liner and i don't normally wear liquid liner um, but i would like to experience experience experiment more with liquid liner okay so it's in a gray little tube but i think it's a black liner yeah definitely a black liner that's really pretty wow <laughs> a black line so pretty <laughs> and then the last product that they sent me was the eye gel primer so normally i don't wear an eyeshadow primer but i really need to start so um mm, interesting it's kind of like a sheer formula but it looks like a little concealer situation but it's definitely a very sheer formula and it does say that it's a gel eye primer and uh yeah it's like mm, it kind of gives me urban decay vibes but maybe like a little bit tackier and less like oily feeling but that'll be a, a fabulous to play around with um so thank you so much over for sending over those products to me i really appreciate it next i'm going to show you guys everything that i picked up from morphe i actually got quite a few goodies i'm so excited i'm very excited i i literally say excited probably at least 17 times in each video of mine <laughs> okay so first things first i picked up a couple of products from iconic london because i had never seen them before and they looked freaking bomb so let's see the first thing is the iconic london luminous powder and this is i've never purchased anything from iconic london before i did receive the like brow like cushion in one of my boxy charms but i haven't used that yet because honestly i'm scared so um i decided to purchase a couple of items the packaging is so cute i love the like uh, chrome kind of rose gold situation and this is what the product looks like oh I love the packaging it's so cool and like the print so it looks like you have three different kind of like tones in here so I purchased this and then to go with that I picked up the iconic London pro puff and I felt this in the store and I literally was like like mom i need it right now like this this thing was expensive like this was expensive let me see if i have the receipt so the luminous powder was 41 dollars. <laughs> that's insane and then this puff right here was 46 dollars. <laughs> i don't think i have ever spent that much money on a brush and i now i can't even freaking open it come here oh yeah we got her okay so this is the brush um oh yeah look at this thing it's freaking huge it's so big and it's <laughs> it's so soft oh it feels so good on the skin it's very dense and fluffy and the handle is all like rose gold and cute so these were like you know next to each other on the display and i was like okay fine i'm gonna splurge and get both of those so i bought those two i also picked up let's see i, I think i got something from jeffree star i got two products from jeffree star i picked up another shade of the concealer this is the actually it's the color corrector this is the magic star liquid concealer in the shade green <laughs> so um i really like this concealer a lot i'm actually wearing it today in the shade 13 
Here's what the packaging looks like. So cute. I freaking love the packaging on this concealer. And this is a very opaque green color corrector. And I don't really color correct very often, but I kind of want to like play around with it some more. So that's why I picked that up. The other product that I picked up is the Supreme Frost Highlighting Powder in the shade Hypothermia. This was so cool. I like was mesmerized by it. And it's not wearable. It's, it's not wearable at all. It's like blue and like reddish purpley um it's kind of crazy honestly but it was so cool that i just really wanted to try it out and if anything this would be a freaking bomb eyeshadow like that would be so cool um it's i i really do like the formula of the supreme frost it's very a very thin formula and not powdery at all but it's pretty dang cool so that was the other jeffree star product that i picked up i have a couple of items in here from eye candy and then i think the rest of it is morphe so i purchased two more of their glitters i really do like their glitters a lot i have three other shades the shade bubblegum is like my favorite i've worn that one by far the most and it's pink so of course it's my favorite but i picked up the shade taffy and then i also picked up jelly bean um i'll try to show you but i don't know how well that's gonna work out because it's kind of hard to see through the container so this one right here is called taffy and then this one is jelly bean the taffy one is just kind of like a rose gold kind of coppery color and then um jelly bean is like a purple with a blue duochrome and i just thought they were really cool and i've been obsessed with i mean i i'm always obsessed with glitter but i've been obsessed with putting glitters on my eyes recently so i purchased those and then the rest of the stuff is from morphe so i picked up a backup of my morphe continuous setting mist because this is such a good setting spray i also decided to try out the morphe brush cleansing balm and scrubber um i've been using the beauty blender like the big one that's a charcoal solid cleanser pro thing um and it's very expensive so i thought i would try this one and oh it's like taped close so i can't really open it but there's a little black silicone thing in there which uh, the beauty blender one came with that too but i don't really use that so uh yeah i normally just use the palm of my hand um i also have a couple of sets here this one this was really cool they had these little trios of lip products and there was like a lighter one a medium one and like a deeper one this says out and about a blushing nude lip trio and this comes with three products you get a lipstick a lip gloss and a lip pencil so you get three products you get the lipstick in the shade flirt and this is a really pretty lipstick color i of course got like the nudist one that they had like the lightest one so there's the shade flirt this is the gloss right here in the shade boho and then this lip liner is in the shade love bite so those are the three products that you get in the trio super cute super fun these lip liners are so underrated they're only four dollars you get like they're freaking long and they are so creamy and pigmented and these are amazing totally underrated i eventually want to like collect every single color and then i can get rid of all of my other lip liners because these are the best the next ones are also really good but i've been non-stop using these morphe ones um and then the other set that i showed you is the arc obsessions arch arch obsessions <laughs> latte is the shade that i got this is like a brow little kit and i think you get five products in here is that right yeah you get the micro brow pencil the brow cream the brow setting gel the highlighter stick and an angle liner slash spoolie brush again such a good gift for somebody i mean if you know their eyebrow color <laughs> so this is the little like spoolie and like angled brush thing right here you can never have enough of those um you get the brow pencil and i think this has yeah this has a spoolie as well i tried to do a full face of morphe the other day but i didn't have brows or mascara and i still don't have mascara i don't know if they make mascara i don't think they do because i was looking on their website and i couldn't find any but um this is the little brow pencil this is the brow stick thing right here um it's like a creamy kind of thing right there i guess to like cut out your brows and then this is the clear brow gel and i've never tried this so this is really exciting i love a good clear brow gel and then you also get the little potted cream brow product and like i said i got the shade latte so yeah um did i get anything oh yeah i got a couple more products in here who's that trend mood just posted a photo does anyone else have trend moods post notifications on no just me 
<laughs> I picked up a pair of tweezers randomly um, in case I needed them when I was getting ready for the Ariana Grande concert, but didn't happen. So these are the stainless steel slanted tweezers. They had multiple different like styles. And then I also bought two more of these little brow pencils, like the one that came in that set. I have the shade Define Me and then the shade So Worth It. <laughs> I kind of swatched them in a bad place, but this one is Oh Brow Baby. It's kind of like a more yellowy undertone. This middle one is shiny and this one's called So Worth It. And then this one over here is more of like a pinky undertone and that one was called Define Me. Next, I'm gonna quickly show you what I got from Zara. I just got a couple of things. And then guys, I went crazy and I splurged on quite a few items but three in particular and I'm still like kind of on cloud nine and can't believe that I own them because they're expensive <laughs> they're so crazy but um I you know wanted to you know have fun you YOLO YOLO there we go so I went to Zara and I was actually looking for an outfit to wear to the Ariana Grande concert because I didn't have one going down there and I found the cutest outfit ever but then again <laughs> it didn't happen but it's okay I'll just use those outfits for something else um, but quickly I did want to mention we went to this place called mimic and it's like a fake jewelry kind of store not like I mean it's fashion jewelry like costume jewelry um, so it was like very inexpensive but they looked they, it's like we only look expensive was the line that was on the sign so I decided to pick up a couple items this is the cutest like most sparkly bracelet in the entire world and this was only $15.95 so I got that I also got this pair of earrings which are like so insane oh no whoo caught her um, I got these to wear to the concert as well um, because they're like so cool and just wait until you see what else I have with them like look how cute I don't remember how much these were but they definitely feel very cheap like they're very lightweight very inexpensively made but they're also inexpensive oh the earrings were $7.95 and then the last thing this was like the, the star of the show look at this choker that I got. Look at how fun that is. This was $21.95 and again I got this to wear to the concert and I just thought that would have been so cute. Um, but like I said, I'll definitely find another occasion to wear those items for. And then for clothing from Zara, we got lots of neon. So um, I decided I was gonna go neon, like a neon bodysuit and shorts. So I found these shorts and they're really cute. They are, I don't know what they're called, um, but they're just like these lighter wash kind of denim shorts and they had this really pretty detailing down the side. So I got these, they're very high-waisted and they button up with buttons. So I got those and then I was gonna wear it with this bodysuit. This hot pink, neon pink bodysuit. I love the neckline of it. I love that it has straps so I can wear a regular bra with it. This was $19.90. Um, and then the shorts were $29.90. So pretty, I mean, not horrible. Not horrible at all. At all. I also got this neon, um, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> this neon yellow kind of bodysuit right here. This one has like little spaghetti straps and it has like a more of a ribbed material. I have no idea if you can see that on camera. Um, this one was also $19.90. And then I got this neon orange jumpsuit, or not jumpsuit, bodysuit. And this one again just has like little spaghetti straps, but this one is not ribbed. It's like so much more neon in person. Like I feel like the camera is like washing it out. Again, $19.90. And then I got this dress. It's like a bodycon kind of dress. This was also $19.90. And, um, it's like this really pretty pinky kind of like hot corally color and it actually comes down like pretty far and it has a little slit in the back which you can kind of see the slit right there um but yeah this is again really pretty and it's like a form-fitting dress and it was like really cute so i purchased all of those things so i can't wait to wear those and now we're down to the good stuff. The other stuff was good stuff, but this is like, 
I'm like hyperventilating over here. So I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Neiman Marcus because I already shared this on my Instagram story. So I have the little Neiman Marcus bag here. This was my first time ever going inside of a Neiman Marcus and <laughs> everything was so expensive. Like every shirt was like over a thousand dollars and it, <laughs> I felt very out of place, but honestly, it kind of felt like I was at Disney World or something. Like, it was so cool. And, oh, I don't know. It was just so cool. So, um, I decided to buy something from La Mer. <laughs> this is the cleansing gel. And, um, yeah. Jacqueline Hill uses this. And she, when she posted her skincare routine, uh-oh, on her Instagram story, she talked about this cleanser. And I was like... I really wanted it, but then I never, I was like, never, never, ever, ever. And we were there, and I don't think I've ever seen La Mer products in person, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I just want one thing, like, just one. So I decided to treat myself to the cleanser, and you can see um, the bubble is like, it's like, you know, you can tell it's kind of thick, and the lady said that you only need to use a little bit, but <sighs> my, my precious. <laughs> oh gosh okay so anyway this was um a whopping $95 <laughs> which is insane and then it's not something that I will probably ever purchase again in my life but I just thought you know why not so I did that and then the lady gave me samples of the foundation this is the soft fluid long wear foundation um she gave me two samples in the shade linen 13 um so that was really nice of her so thank you miss for doing that um so i got that from neiman and then we also went to blue mercury in this little shopping area at called old hyde park i think is the name I, I don't know i see it called different things everywhere and i don't know what the locals call it but is it hyde park old hyde old hyde park old hyde park village hyde park village i don't know one of those things so we went to blue mercury and <clears throat> then my aunt actually got me she gave me my graduation card so I decided to again <laughs> treat myself I'm not gonna be treating myself for a long time guys um, but I decided to treat myself with a couple two other very exciting items um, with the graduation money that I got from her so thank you so much Aunt Debbie and Uncle Duggo you guys are the best so <laughs> the next product that I purchased is from Orabe and this is the power drops damage repair booster and this is again a product inspired by Jaclyn Hill I'm sorry I always talk about Jaclyn Hill guys but she it's 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 very relevant to the story so um yeah, I I wasn't sure if this was the product that she has talked about on her YouTube and on her Instagram story. So I DM'd Jacqueline Hill Closet. Love her so much. Love my girl, Jacqueline Hill Closet. Um, and I was like, is this the right thing? And then she sent me a screenshot of Jacqueline holding this and it was the right thing. So I did pick this up. Um, this was $58. So for a hair product. Um i'm like i better i i can't get used to this bougie lifestyle because i just can't <laughs> but this is what the product looks like it's so luxurious and it's a little like pump like dropper thing i think yeah so yeah <laughs> there's that i decided to pick this up and i'll let you guys know how i like it very excited <laughs> and then the other product you guys I told myself I was going to treat myself to one thing from La Mer on this trip, but I decided to get one other thing, and um, that I know I just, I can already imagine the comments that I'm going to be getting, but um, this is from La Mer. Like I said, this is the powder, and this is a product that I have heard so many people talk about. Um, Jeffree Star always talks about it, Tati talks about it, and I swatched it at Blue Mercury, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so so nice um so i'm opening this up here is the box right here and i don't know if this comes in multiple shades or not but they only had one shade at the store and i don't know that it has a name so here it is oh my gosh you guys look at it so beautiful frosted glass very heavy component um yeah oh it comes with a little puffy how cute so yeah that's everything that i got at blue mercury and i'm gonna end things off with everything that i got at sephora which is quite a few things like why is this so heavy okay the first thing are i actually have two products that i use today um in my full face of first impression slash trying new makeup video and 
um, you know, the total fail one that I talked about earlier. The first one is from Huda Beauty. This is the Extra Hold Resting Boss Face Spray. And honestly, I have only seen negative reviews about this product and the main complaint is the scent. And the scent is very overpowering, like extremely strong, but I think it smells good. And it like, oh, Whoa, sorry. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, the way that it makes your skin feel is like locked in place like you have never felt before. I haven't tested it all day, like the longevity of the product, like how it actually works, but it feels like it works really good. So um, I'll definitely update you guys on this, but I'm really happy that I decided to pick it up despite all of the negative reviews that I saw. And then the other products that I used today in that video are these Fenty Bakay Vivid Liquid Eyeliners, and this is like a trio, and you get three shades, the white, the yellow, and the pink. So the yellow one is called Banana Blaze, the white one is called Wet T-Shirt, and then the pink one is called Hottie Alert, and I did swatch these in that video, so like I said, go watch that video if you want more info on this product, but let's just say it didn't go as I expected. <laughs> um, what else did we get here? Oh! Okay, so Pat McGrath, they were having a like Memorial Day sale, Sephora was, and all of their like six pan Pat McGrath palettes were like only 27 bucks or something, and I really wanted one, but they were all sold out online, and then we went to the store, and I wanted the pink one in particular, but all of them were sold out online, and then we went to the store, and they had one in stock, and it was this one, so not the pink one. I don't know what this is called. Where did they, oh. Um, Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition Eye Palette. I think that's what this one's called. This is what it looks like. I actually just hauled my first ever Pat McGrath product, like, not long ago. <laughs> um, but so this is my second, and this is a six-panned eyeshadow palette. Very neutral. Just some nice browns and bronzes. But yeah, I am really excited to try this. I haven't ever tried Pat McGrath eyeshadows and th these are very wearable colors. So yeah, I got this for 27 bucks. I think it's normally like 50 something or like 60. Another product that was on sale, this is, um, I actually ordered this online, but I thought I would go ahead and show you. This is the Sculpt and Glow Face Highlighting and Contour Palette and I have this in the shade 01 Light Medium. Oh, this is from Natasha Denona, I didn't say that. Um, normally this is, I think, $90, but I got it for like 50 50 something or like 50 I don't know it was a pretty good sale and I love the blush palettes that are in this packaging it's like a baby pink color but it's shaped like this and so I was really excited to try this one so you get three cream products and three powder products the powder ones are up here and then the cream ones are I don't want to stab this they are hidden behind this little plastic flap, so um, I think this will be really fun to try. I actually just used the new small bronze and glow one today in my first impressions video, and I actually used it again when I redid my makeup, and I love it so much. So that makes me even more excited to use this product. I decided at the checkout to pick this up. This is the Tarte Hair Goals Dry Shampoo because it was on sale for $9 and it was like sitting next to the counter and the lady was like, these are a really good deal. They're only $9. Would you like to purchase one? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I love dry shampoo. I use it every single day. So I thought I would try this one out because I was interested when it came out, but I didn't want to spend that much money on a on a dry shampoo from a makeup brand just because that seems kind of like a mm, little sketch and especially I love my Batiste dry shampoo which is very affordable but this was only nine dollars so I purchased that I love the packaging by the way I'm like waving this around like crazy um what else I have like a lot of samples in here I picked this up from Sephora collection this is the outrageous uh plump effects lip gloss and it's in this like quilted kind of packaging they had two shades they had this one and like more of a nude shade they were sold out of the nude shade so i got the pink shade which i would have gotten both but i just got the pink one and um yeah i've heard good things about this so i thought i would try that out and then oh yeah oh no i also have another natasha denona product this is this was also on sale this was on sale for 12.50 this is the mini lila palette and i do have the lila or lila 
I always forget. I call it Leela in my head. Um, and I always use, I have the big one, like the full size Leela palette. And this is the mini. So I thought I would try this and like compare it to the larger one. Um, I've heard that these are not nearly the same quality as the larger ones. This is my first mini palette that I have. And um, I've been requested to do like a comparison. Well, I'm going to do a whole video on Natasha Denona because I have quite a few items from them. But people wanted me to compare the minis to the large ones and what my personal opinion is because... Um, you know, like I said, I've heard so many people say that these aren't as good of quality. So that was like part of why I bought this. Also, it was on sale and I love a good deal. <laughs> so I got that for $12.50. Normally I think it's $25, so I think it was 50% off. And then the other full-size product that I have here, I think this is the last like full-size thing that I have. But then I have some really exciting stuff to show you. So hang tight. There's like a hair. I can feel it. Oh, got it. This is from Way. This is the Hair and Body Shine Mist. This is something that I've wanted for a really long time, and um, my friend Bella really likes it. She uh, like actually recommended it to me, and I almost got it, but then I never did. And then I saw Jacqueline Hill use it <laughs> in her like how to be a bronze goddess kind of video, and she just said like any kind of body oil, hair and body oil, but this is the specific one that she used, and I thought it looked so good on her so i decided to pick this up as well um and then the rest of the stuff in here i actually they had an amazing point perk you guys so many of you guys actually tagged me in this deal online where if you spend 35 dollars you can get this little um drunk elephant little mini set for, as a free gift and it has the tlc sakari baby facial and then the virgin marula oil and I love both of these products so much. You guys know how much I love Drunk Elephants. I'm, I'm not sure how many times I can possibly say it, but um, here are the products right here. And I got tagged so many times. You guys sent me screenshots of this deal. Um, and so thank you so much for doing that because that's what I did with this order. And so I, I picked this one. Well, only this was the only available one. There was two options, but this was the one that was... I'm guessing the other one was sold out because this was the only available one. Wow, I said that 17 times. Then when I was in store, there was a point perk and it was a mini of the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops and the Be Hydra Intensive Hydrating Serum. And I love both of these products so much, like more than you could ever imagine. So here, again, I'm going to do a whole video on Drunk Elephant as well. Um, but here's what they look like right there. So I actually decided to get three of those. I do think they were 250 points, like that's how many points they were. Um, and then she just like threw an extra one of these in there. So now I have two of these, so I'll probably give one to my mom. Actually, I'll definitely give one to my mom. But um, another one of the baby facial and the marula oil. And yeah. That's everything that I purchased while I was in Tampa slash everything that I received in the mail while I was in Tampa. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, everything will be linked down below. All of the videos that I mentioned, all the products that I mentioned. Um, yeah, love you guys. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. My upper lip is sweating. Do you see that? I know you can see that. Also, this breakout and this one. Ugh.